Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matero and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody. Now this video is all about on how to install Cyberpunk 2077 mods in 2024. So like always make sure that you download Cyber Engine Tweaks and I will leave this inside my description below. When you download Cyber Engine Tweaks, keep scrolling down until you go to your files over here. Now next, scroll down and download the manual download. Scroll down and download the slow download. Wait for a few seconds. And now download it to your desktop. Unfortunately, I have already got it downloaded, so I don't need to download the mod. Next, go to my description below and now select the simple menu mod like always scroll down then go to files then go to manual download then now select download and now scroll down to slow download and now wait for a few seconds and then download it to your desktop this video was requested by the viewers and it's easy to install so let's get straight into it first go and open up your steam account now when you are on your steam account okay go to your store then now go to search and now search for red mod now this is called red mod okay guys if you do not have red mod installed make sure that you do install red mod I have already got red mod installed so I don't need to install it. Go back to your library and now scroll down over here okay scroll down to DRC and then go to manage my DRC and now really important make sure that you do enable red mod. Now enable phantom liberty that's if you do have it if you don't then don't worry it's not important and now exit out of your application then go to your cyberpunk 2077 right click go to manage and now go to browse local files and now exit out of your steam this is your main directory now go to your bin folder and now this is your game folder Next, right click on your game folder, then go to copy, then right click again and paste that onto the same folder. And now come over here, right click, go to rename and rename this folder CET. Now open up your CET folder. And I go to your crash folder, right click and delete that folder. Okay, we don't need it. Now, first open up your Cyber Engine Tweaks Extract folder and go to your bin folder, go to your time 64. Then next, select all your files and your folder and drag it inside your CET folder. Now that's what you gotta do and then exit out of your extract folder. Next, go into your plugins folder, go into your cyber engine tweaks folder, and now next, open up your simple menu extract folder, go to your bin folder, go to time 64, go to your plugins, go to cyber engine tweaks, and then now simply, select your mods folder and then drag it inside your cyber engine tweaks folder okay 
then that's all you gotta do. Go back to your CET main folder, which is this folder over here. Next, go to your cyberpunk2077.exe, right click and send this to your desktop. And now here is the farm game that you sent, okay? Right click, rename, and I'll just rename it so you know where is the real version and where is the uh, modded version. And rename it to CET. Now I'll drag this and now I'll just put it over here. Now this game over here is your original game and this game over here is your modded game. Now the good thing about doing it this way is that you can just go right click and go to open file location and now it will send you straight to your mod files. So we have finished uh, installing all the mods and we're going to get straight into the game. Now you will see this okay popping up okay. What you have to do okay is that you need to select a key, any key on your keyboard. But the key that I selected is the key that is popping up on your screen right now. So select that key, okay, and then now once you have select that key, select unbond, okay. And now we are back in the game, as you can see in the middle, it's a simple menu building. So just wait for that to finish, okay, and now it's done. So to actually open the mod menu, okay, just press the key that you ha have done. Now over here we've got a few options, okay. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, okay, but I will show you a few of the important ones. Um, let's go to player. Now over here we've got main cheats, we've got god mode, okay, now let's select that. Let's test out the god mode first, okay. So we need to uh, get a bomb out, okay, now let's throw a bomb. So as you can see, okay, as you can see, nothing cannot kill me, okay. Uh, yeah, nothing cannot kill me. I'm still alive and this guy is killing me. So there goes proof guys that this mod does work 100%. Now let's try out the teleports, okay. Go to miss, go to teleports. And let's go to teleport to V's apartment and I'll select go. And now you'll automatically teleport to V's apartments. And now we are there. So we are at the apartment now. Um, pretty cool. Uh, you can teleport to any location around the map. Um, you can come over here. Uh, and teleport to um, NPCs or uh, vendors like melee, net runners and, and uh, clothing vendors. So yeah, uh, what else do we have here? Um, that's all. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna show you guys. Okay. Um, if you want to know the whole menu, then download the menu. Okay, and install it. It's really easy to install. And I hope you guys do enjoy your game experience. Okay. And now we're back again. So I hope you guys do enjoy using that mod. It's an awesome mod, and not to mention. This is my first Cyberpunk tutorial video in 2024. Now I will be uploading more tutorials for Cyberpunk. Okay, so don't worry. This is the first one. Uh, but I will be uploading more, so stay tuned. But like always, if you guys do get stuck installing these mods, then please let me know in the comments below. And I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods from GTA V or Cyberpunk, then let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. Unfortunately, I'm not active inside my YouTube comments. 
I'm more active inside my Discord server. So I'll leave my Discord server link inside my description below. So you guys can go and sort it out. So with that all said, if you guys do enjoy this video, or if this video was helpful, please smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. And I'm out.